us and the joy that God has given us and the life that God has given us, it is sad if we were to allow that to just be taken by the enemy. Why would we do that? Lord, I'm going to fight <laughs> with your help, by your grace, through your strength. Whatever I got to do, if you're in it, I'm with it. But we don't do that. And I'll tell you something. You know why? Because of the processing thinking of mankind and their little minds. We know so much, don't we? Oh, we go to the moon. Man, we got rockets, we got atomic bombs, nuclear bombs. Oh, we put ourselves in uh, God's places. In uh, God's place, I should say. We don't need God anymore. Look at the technology we came up. I invented that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I made that. No, you didn't. Without God, you couldn't breathe. You didn't, you didn't anything. You didn't anything. But we trade what God, so many times, what God has given us and wants us so much to enjoy, so many times we have a tendency of trading it for something that's no good whatsoever. No good. All righty. He said once again, 26, if you then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? And like I said, I could go right down the line naming names, but I won't. Buddy, I'll tell you what, they are become miserable. I'm talking about people of God. The joy is not there. God gave them this joy, filled them with this joy. For some reason, it's not there. The cares of the world have come upon them, and now they're starting to crush them. If I come into the house of God, Lord, please give me a blessing. Uh, uh, I want a blessing. It seems like I haven't felt a blessing or gotten a blessing from you in so long. I want to get that blessing again. We have to leave everything upon our shoulders in our minds. Throw it out the door. Don't bring it in with us. That's going to rob us of everything. We got to learn to throw it down at the door. Come in. Focus upon God. 27, consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. Jesus said, and yet I say unto you, that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed or dressed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass Think about that real good, which is today in the field for you and I to enjoy. It's beautiful. Uh, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. If God does that to these lilies, then he knows they're going to be gone tomorrow. If he does that, how much more will he clothe you? And then he says, O oh, ye of little faith. And then he goes on to say, And seek not what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that you have need of those things. But rather seek ye first, or seek ye the kingdom of God, and all things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Now, if God is that good to grass, if he's that good to the little birds, how much better will he be to you and I? But see, the processing thinking of man stops everything we do it ourselves in all reality that's what god has blessed pretty much the whole universe with technology that can save lives or uh, uh bring and bring people out of comas uh, a lot of times and uh what seems to be given an extension to their life in this walkway of life uh, god has blessed uh, us tremendously with this wonderful technology. Yeah. What does man do with it? 
why he's looking at everything and trying to look up everything and trying to find everything uh, that he can to use it on somebody else to deceive them, to rob them. Not everybody, no. But it, uh, for the most part, absolutely. Identity theft, man, it's everywhere you turn. You might be able to take a card that I have and use my name, but you can't steal my identity. That's all. I am me. <laughs> you ain't inheriting what I've got, baby, unless you know the Lord. And if you knew the Lord, you wouldn't be in that mess to begin with. So, hey, if I have no control over it, now I got this kind of control, this much control God's given me. <laughs> yeah, I need to report this and that. And yeah, cancel that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't me. We're going to try to do our best to stop the thief. And Lord, you know exactly who it was, exactly wh where it happened. I had that happen just, uh, I don't know, uh, about a week ago. Got something, in, uh, got something in the email and a text like uh, uh, this was charged, uh, some lift coming to your house and getting you. Ended up being almost $200 for that stuff. Like, hey, I got three cars sitting out in the front. Don't need nobody to come and get me. But you know that happens to the just and the unjust. Did I take a fit? Absolutely not. We got on the phone. We was chit-chatting with them. They had everything canceled. They said, rip up the car. We're going to send you a new one. I said, well, thank you very much. Done deal. And uh, I wasn't charged for anything. But I could have sat there and was like, man, it's always me. It's always me. Me, me, me. They can't find somebody else. Out of all the people in the world, me. I could have done that. I ain't got time to do that. I ain't got time for that. Uh, God has uh, given me too much joy to let this worldly stuff take it away from me. And when we, in our plans, and all of that goes together with what we just read about the rich man, the barns, I'm going to tear it down. Why? Because God is being put, uh, he didn't have the mention of God, he's going to do it. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to take it easy. God's nowhere to be found. And when we fall into uh, certain things, uh, and uh, because we're Christians, we'll never mean, we won't. We'll all be tested, uh, and uh, all of that good stuff, but I'll tell you what, uh, <clears throat> Uh, the only thing it allows, the only thing it does, and get ready to wrap it up, the only thing it does is push God aside. Not on purpose, we don't mean to, but if our thoughts are packed with this and that and those and these and them and us and we, <laughs> where's God going to be able to... Hmm, it, it, uh, it got uh, so bad with me once, I'll tell you. When I read the scriptures and lay down on my bed, <coughs> the devil actually took the word of God and tormented me with it, haunted me just lines upon lines, and I couldn't shut it off. I'm like, Lord, <laughs> this has been too long now. I know that you're not doing this to me because I enjoy your word. I love reading your word. I want to know more of your word. But your word, for some odd reason, it seems to be trying to torment me and haunt me. And I'll tell you what. He opened my eyes, showed me what was going on, and he took it and said, bye-bye. And uh, now I can read it and go to sleep. It's the way I like it. It's the way I like it. The devil can take Anything, including the Word of God, if He's allowed, and use it right against us. Didn't He do that in the Garden of uh, Eden? No, that's not what God said. He didn't say that. He knows that when you, if you eat the day you eat of that tree, your eyes going to be open, and you will be as gods. He knows that. Go ahead, look at that again. Look at that again. Ain't it pretty? Get over and get you a bite. You'll be all right. No, no, no. But that's the way it goes. We can say it any way we want to, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it went. Uh, all right. Uh, I hope, I trust, and I pray that uh, uh, God uh, using me today has used me to uh, bless and encourage somebody and lift up somebody and uh, hopefully to, uh, I don't know, what's going on in our lives. I know what's going on in my life. And uh, whatever, I just hope somehow or another you've been blessed, you can use what, well, we can all always use what God has given us. And with that said, uh, 
one more time, I hope you have been blessed in some way, shape, or fashion. Has anybody got anything uh, they want to say before we're closing a word of prayer? Because I think I'm done. Seven days without prayer makes one week. That's right. W-E-A-K. Seven, prayer, uh, seven days with nap without prayer makes one week. W-E-A-K. Not W-E-E-K. Did you know there's two spellings there, folks? One is you're just weak. You're not strong anymore in the Lord. You're losing. And the other is just seven days, a week. All righty. Everybody, uh, all hearts, mind clear? All right. You want to dismiss this or you want me to? Father, as we come unto you once again this out of eternity uh, this afternoon, we are truly so grateful and so thankful, Father, that you have uh, used us to bless your people, Father. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we can indeed again go out of your house and uh, leave, Father, saying it has truly again been so wonderful and so good to have been in their Father's house. We're thankful, Father, for the, fel uh, the fellowship that you give us. And Lord, our hearts desire is always upon our loved ones, our uh, family members, our uh, uh, children and grandchildren and father even to their children that they would uh if they know you not that they would uh stop in their walkway of life and consider what saith the word of god and begin uh, to become interested in your word that father it might lead them into the kingdom of heaven and father our hearts desires to see this and to hear about this that we might rejoice with everyone involved and now father we ask of you uh, to keep every one of us in your care and in your will may we always be inside of your protective hedge as we go our separate ways bring us back the next appointed time father and if we're allowed to uh, meet up with our brothers and sisters at the other church dear god we ask of you to be there as well to get glory honor and praise because you alone are so worthy of it continue to bless and meet the needs uh, for your will and your glory and we ask it all and give you thanks for it as well in jesus holy name amen all right god bless